Subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. Hello subscribers, welcome to the 5 Properties Daily. I am Brijesh Bhatia. Bank Nifty has been rallying towards the new all-time high. 43,500 plus levels have been uh, hit onto the Bank Nifty. Nifty has been uh, consistently hitting and approaching the 19,000 marks. Uh, we saw uh, a huge outperformance coming uh, in the uh, Indian markets against the US market. Uh, by the end of November, where Indian markets have gained more than 7%, US markets are trending down by nearly 5-5.5%. Uh, so there is a, a gap of over 12% uh, of outperformance of Indian markets against the uh, Dow Jones. Well, uh, the momentum uh, is very, very bullish as of now. The sentiments are very, very bullish into the uh, uh, D street. And uh, with the uh, last hour of uh, bullish momentum coming in the yesterday session uh, into the Indian markets as well as the uh, US markets after uh, the federal chairman, uh, uh, Mr. Powell, indicated that uh, the pace of uh, the rate uh, interest rate hike uh, will be uh, slower from the December. And that has triggered that the economic is coming back very, very strongly. Now, uh, this has uh, definitely uh, led to a positive momentum on the Wall Street as well. And uh, this news is uh, slightly positive for uh, the banks as well. So I believe uh, with the uh, US markets coming back very, very strongly, Indian markets uh, uh, coming back very strongly and being outperforming, hitting all the all time highs. I think it's time uh, for Bank Nifty uh, to uh, take the driver's seat now and it may uh, head higher uh, into the December series, I believe. Now, importantly, if we look at uh, the start of the rally uh, back in uh, July, August, it was uh, initiated by Bank Nifty, which has led the rally uh, followed by the Nifty. Uh, in last few trading sessions, we have seen Bank Nifty uh, being on a mute note, uh, where uh, the ITS came back very, very strongly, where the King has awakened, the Reliance has been coming back very, very strongly, LNT coming back uh, and trading at uh, the all-time highs. Uh, banks have been slightly on a mute. Now, I believe it time uh, it's time for uh, Bank Nifty uh, to lead the rally now. Uh, before I move on to the analysis, uh, let's look at the constituents on weights of the Bank Nifty. Who can change uh, uh, the, uh, or who can take the charge, uh, which stock can take the charge into the bank nifty to take the higher. Uh, looking at the weights, HDFC uh, leads the, uh, HDFC bank leads the uh, table with around 27% weights, ICICI 23%, uh, XS, SBI and Kota uh, over 11%, Indus in over 5.5% and then Bank of Baroda, Federal Bank, IDFC, First Bank and PNB uh, uh, below 2% mark. So uh, probably if in case Bank Nifty has to lead uh, two stocks with around 50% weightage, HDFC Bank and ICIC Bank has to lead the rally, which was they hold around 50% of weights into the uh, Bank Nifty. Uh, do they really have the potential uh, uh, to take the lead? Uh, ICIC has been trading at uh, all time high, uh, HDFC Bank is struggling uh, to head higher. Uh, Axis Bank trading at uh, uh, about 900 levels now, uh, SBI about 600 levels now, uh, who will lead the rally? Uh, before I move on to the uh, uh, ratio chart of the stock analysis, uh, let's look at the Nif Bank Nifty chart and the seasonality analysis. Uh, interestingly, uh, if I just look at the Santa Claus rally and we are uh, into the last five weeks of uh, the 2022. Uh, let's look at the how the weekly last five weeks of performance of Bank Nifty has been. So if you look at the screen over here, the, this is a seasonality analysis. And if you look at right from 2005 to 2021, uh, so we have a uh, n number of data or multiple n number of years uh, to collect uh, the uh, views. Now, if you look at the average performance of uh, of week 48, which is we are into the week 48, uh, the last five weeks of uh, the year. Uh, we are into the uh, last five uh, fifth week of uh, the year and it's been around 2% gain for the bank nifty average uh, with 72% uh, positive uh, in the last uh, so many years and uh, the negative has been 28. If I just look at uh, the last, uh, the 49, 50, 51 and 50, the last four weeks which we will be entering the next week, uh, the average has been slightly uh, plus and minus between ranging between positive one to negative one. And uh, if I just look at the last week uh, of the year, which is around uh, uh, the Christmas week, uh, we have seen around 1% gain for Bank Nifty with 76% positive and around 24% negative. 
रेस्ट हैज बीन ओके विथ अराउंड फिफ्टी फिफ्टी परसेंट और प्रॉब्ली फिफ्टी ऑफ गेन सो इफ आई जस्ट लुक एट दीजनलिटी एनालिसिस आई प्रोबेबली बिलीव दैट येस दिस वीक एंड द अर्ली नेक्स्ट वीक we may see bank nifty rallying and probably uh, uh, the momentum make uh, prolong with the time and uh, correction and then uh, the second half may uh, see a huge uh, rally importantly if you look at uh, the monthly analysis of the december month uh, how the bank nifty has performed right from 2005 to 2021 uh, it's been around 1.5% gain and if you look at uh, the 1.5% gain uh it's been mixed 59 to 41% uh, positive to negative so it's probably uh, a neck to neck i would say uh, but yes importantly the average gain has been 1 and a half percent and with the uh, maximum gain is around 5 and uh, 16% in 2008 and uh, followed by 5 and a half percent in 2020 so most of them have been uh, 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 average between 3 to uh, percent and the maximum negative has been around uh, a minus 3 uh, 3 percent so it's been an average positive uh, if i just look at 1.5% so keep a watch seasonal analysis sometimes helps out uh, to uh, gauge the momentum let's jump on to the uh, charts what are they indicating so this is a weekly chart of uh, the bank nifty and if you look at the right uh, the cup and handle structure has been there we broke out on the weekly scale of cup and handle pattern uh, and the uh, trend is very very bullish the prices are heading higher and higher so it's been confirming that yes the weekly scale confirms that the uh, cup and handle structure importantly this cup and handle structure uh, has been uh, right from this uh, 2019 high so if you look at the uh, chart over here the blue line uh, which is the previous highs uh, have been taken as a support and the uh, bullish structure has been formed and the breakout indicate indicates that the bulls are controlling uh, the momentum over here and bulls are leading uh, the way uh, to the uh, higher levels now this is not the first time the similar structure has been happening uh, the previous have been breakout uh, the retest has happened the cup and handle formation has happened it's all uh, generally uh, this process takes a lot of time the cup and handle and the rounding bottom pattern are not a short term pattern it generally take time uh, to build the uh, structure and with the uh, time the breakout has been very very convincing so if you look at the next chart over here uh, we are looking at a similar structure right from 2000 uh, Uh, 11 uh, 2014 breakout happened. Uh, rally was then, and again a cup and handle structure was there, which broke out in 2017. Now, if you look at the structure, uh, the similar structure has been there now back in 2022, and we are ending the uh, year with a breakout. Uh, so probably I believe yes, uh, not only December, uh, probably we may see a rally coming in from uh, Jan, Feb, March as well. into the bank nifty but yes this is a good level i believe uh, any dip towards uh, 42800 42600 uh, seems an excellent opportunity for a bank nifty trader and importantly uh, generally uh, when a technical analysis uh, breakout is uh, being plotted the important is how the strength is there into the uh, structure and uh, back in 2017 when the breakout happened uh, the bank nifty has rallied nearly around 30% uh, if you look at the uh, span of uh, probably a year uh, and if i just look at the uh, structure prob in case we break out and convince uh, so look at the 30% rally right from uh, the current level so uh, again uh, there is an history, if history repeats itself we may see this kind of rally but the next chart i want to highlight over here is look at the uh, rsi in the lower panel now Uh, the RSI back in 2017 when the breakout happened, RSI has crossed 70 month, and it is said that 70 is an overbought uh, scenario. But I believe when the trend begins and when the RSI is trending between uh, 65 to 75, it generally gives a stronger trend uh, uh, for the bullish uh, scenario. Back if you look at the orange line in, uh, on the RSI panel when the 2017 breakout happened. uh the similar rsi is being uh, confirming in the right uh, the current breakout is happening so probably if the breakout uh, uh, coincides with the strength uh, back in 2017 history repeats itself as i said uh, the 30% rally can be on card even if we uh, see 20 25% rally coming on to the bank nifty that will be the huge uh, uh, the bullish momentum and it again uh, don't forget that the uh, banks holds uh, the good weightage into the nifty 50 as well so it, there is a chance that when the bank leads uh, uh, financials will lead and uh, banking and financial generally have i guess around 30 35% in the nifty 
which can lead markets much much higher the sentiments may change uh, onto the uh, positive side so looking at the structure uh, onto the weekly scale i believe yes uh, the sentiments are very very bullish onto the uh, d street and uh, the reason why i believe that the december uh, driver seat uh, will be the bank nifty is look at the next chart this is again a very very short term chart the hourly chart uh, but look at the structure over here uh, the breakout has happened in the form of bullish pennant now uh, the bullish pennant is a continuation pattern after a rally uh, there is a consolidation in form of symmetrical triangle and the breakout happens uh, the rally which has been uh, there uh, the previous rally before the consolidation uh, it's generally known as the pull and uh, when the breakout happens uh, the pennant happened and if you look at the structure over there, the pennant has been retested uh, again as i said this is a hourly chart but looking at the structure it confirms that yes the breakout is a uh, very very stronger over here and if i just look at the uh, target as per the pattern from the pole uh, to the uh, height it's nearly 42000 to around 43000 so 1500 uh, 1200 to 1500 points of uh, rally can be ex expected looking at the uh, rd chart structure though it may not be in a day or two it may take a time but yes uh, it seems the structure is very very bullish over here uh, though the packet, uh, pattern may negative below 42,600, but I believe yes, the weekly scale is very, very bullish, indicating uh, again, uh, generally when you trade the weekly charts, it's not uh, looking for a, a, a fortnight or uh, the uh, 2025 days of momentum, but generally the uh, weekly breakout takes time, three, four, two, three to six months to uh, reach its target. But uh, looking at the hourly chart, I believe, yes, uh, we may see a 1200, 1500 points rally coming into the bank nifty. And the target can be around 44,500, 44,800. As per the uh, uh, bullish poll, uh, the structure seems very, very excellent. So any dip seems an excellent opportunity. Who can lead the rally? As I said, HDFC and ICICI Bank, uh, the two stocks constitutes around 50% of weight into the bank nifty, followed by, uh, I, uh, Excess Bank, uh, Kotak Bank and SBI forms another around 30-33% of uh, rally. So uh, these are the 5 stocks which generally contributes around 85-84-85% uh, of uh, the uh, bank nifty. So let's start, start with the ICICI Bank. Uh, so this is an ICICI Bank by bank nifty uh, ratio chart. Uh, the ratios are generally used uh, to gauge the outperformance of uh, a stock over the uh, index or any instrument or if you want to compare one stock to another uh, stock you can do that in this case i am comparing icici bank with the bank nifty to gauge is the icici bank stronger into uh, against the performance of bank nifty because being a 23 percent weights if icici bank rallies bank nifty will automatically rally but yes the icici bank has to rally much much uh, more percentage than the uh, bank nifty because it considers the other stocks more as well so looking at the structure right from 2020 low, if you look at this orange line going on, it's a 34 exponential moving average. Uh, on a weekly scale when 34 uh, exponential moving average, which means 34 weekly exponential moving average, when the prices or the ratio tests over here, it's an excellent opportunity to go long. And in the recent scenario, we saw back in November, uh, October, November, that these uh, uh, retest has happened into the uh, 34 exponential moving average. The slope has turned back towards uh, the uh, northward momentum, which means that, <coughs> sorry, which means that uh, it's time for ICICI Bank to outperform into the bank nifty, and the momentum may uh, uh, just a beginning uh, over here. So, if you look at the breakout happened, the retest happened, uh, the retest of 34 exponential moving average happened. So, ICICI Bank is the, can be the one candidate which can lead uh, bank nifty much much higher. Second is the uh, SBI, which I want to highlight over there, being 11, 11 11.5% of weights. Uh, look at uh, right from 2011, this ratio chart was trending lower and lower, forming the lower eye lower low structure. And the lower eye lower low structure is basically the bearish. So the slope uh, of ratio going downwards, which means that numerator is underperforming against the uh, denominator. In this case, the numerator is my SBI bank. SBI bank was underperforming right from 2011 till 2021 against the bank nifty move. Back in 2021, if you look at this green trend line, falling trend line, the breakout happened of around 10 years of decade breakout has happened onto the momentum. And look at the rally which we have seen. Look at the SBI which we have seen 400, 450 levels to 600 levels. Now, uh, the rally has been amazing. And importantly, for the first time since 2012, 
this ratio has moved about its 200 weekly exponential moving average which is again the long term moving average the orange line is the 200 weekly exponential moving average and uh, generally it is said that when the prices move above the 200 weekly exponential or daily exponential moving average it turns out to be the bullish scenario uh, because it's uh, the long term 200 daily generally is uh, the year now if you look at this 200 weekly it's uh, nearly uh, uh, a four years of average because the momentum seems very very uh, important over here so yes the trend is changing uh, for the sbi to bank nifty ratio that it indicated that bank, bank nifty could con uh, continue to uh, head higher uh, with the uh, sink of uh, sbi bank so sbi bank will lead much much higher percentage against uh, the bank nifty so ics and bank nifty both are the candidate which could lead the uh, bank nifty higher axis bank uh, probably I think the ratio chart indicates that it's been ups and downs, ups and downs at, at times Axis Bank outperforms, at times Bank Nifty outperforms and it's been consolidating in a range. So it's, it is not giving a clear trend how uh, the momentum is building up. HDFC Bank, this is the one chart where I uh, uh, feel that the risk is much much higher for Bank Nifty to higher, go higher. Again, uh, when you uh, look at uh, the uh, possibility of going higher, you consider the risk as well. And this is the one chart where I believe the risk is there. Look at this right from 2004, uh, the ratio chart has been on a one way uh, trajectory with a higher or higher low structure. So higher or higher low structure as per the Dow theory is the bullish structure. The trend line, the red line, if you look at the uh, on the charts, it's been broken down and it confirms that the HDFC outperformance is ending against the bank NFT. At times since 2004, HDFC was one. HDFC Bank was the one which was leading the uh, bank Nifty higher. Uh, looking at the uh, structure now, and it has broken down. If you look at the right extreme right, the breakdown has happened. The retest has happened. The slope is turning back towards the uh, southwards. This is the one chart which I feel that HDFC can be uh, the uh, criminal into the. Uh, I would say the villain into the uh, rally, in case HDFC Bank doesn't perform or probably uh, it falls that could be the risk for bank nifty see i'm looking at the structure i'm not indicating the bank nifty hdfc bank will fall but in case it doesn't outperform by a big margin uh, into the uh, bank uh, bank nifty though it may uh, be a, a few percentage up against the bank nifty it will work because it holds 27 percent of weights uh, over here so even uh, HDFC Bank uh, keeping other stocks aside, HDFC Bank falls 4%, Bank Nifty will form, uh, fall 1%. So keeping the other stocks aside, uh, that's the way it's, uh, HDFC holds. So that was, this is the one stock which I feel is slightly riskier for Bank Nifty. In case uh, Bank Nifty uh, doesn't uh, go higher, HDFC could be the culprit uh, uh, to not taking Bank Nifty higher. So this is the risk as of now I feel onto the uh, structure. Though uh, the overall structure for Bank Nifty seems excellent, uh, very very bullish. Uh, the weekly scale is indicating cup and handle breakout. Uh, the historical move indicates that 30% uh, post the cup and handle breakout. Uh, there is a possibility of 30% rally into the Bank Nifty which we saw in 2017-18. And if in case history repeats, we may see uh, another. The two stocks or uh, the two banks which I think can lead the uh, Bank Nifty are the ICICI Bank and SBI. Uh, the risk as of now, I think the HDFC could be the one which is the riskier uh, uh, part into the uh, structure or into the breakouts. So keep a watch on this Bank Nifty. I think, yes, uh, there is a possibility that we may see a, a driver sheet for HD, a Bank Nifty to take the markets much, much higher into the December series. So December series may uh, be the series for uh, banks and Bank Nifty. So keep a watch on any dip seems an excellent opportunity uh, to go along onto the Bank Nifty. Signing off. Bridget Vardian.